Mr. Popo back at it again with another super tournament, super craziness, ultimate guard, superness, all you want, just join now! What's up guys, it's your super players and it's your host, Tony G, bringing you another market watch. And before I start, definitely sign up to that weekly tournament we have every Friday. Tune in, we always have great pricing and next week's gonna be even more hype, especially with the new Unison pack that's coming out. I'm definitely gonna be talking about that in this market watch. Not only that, we're gonna be also giving that as pricing for next week. So stay tuned, sign up for next week, and let's get to this market watch. And so as we're starting, we're gonna be doing the new expansion. So we do have it <clears throat> here, it's listed at TCG Player for $22, but we also don't have the prices for the singles that are coming out. So as of now, we definitely have the leader, or the new Unison leader. And but we don't have the prices for the new um, cards that are coming out, so definitely stay tuned. I will be doing another market watch probably next week, and we'll probably have a listing of the of the cards. Hopefully, crossing our fing fingers. And so we have Universe Eleven. So this is the new Universe Eleven support that came out with this expansion set. And then moving on, we also have the new Universe Seven Unison support, which is pretty sick. The same thing. We only have the leaders right now as a listed price but we'll definitely get to it next week for sure hopefully crossing our fingers we see it and hopefully everyone's staying safe and healthy out there so as we start there's been a huge promo buyout so if you guys don't know just like in the title a lot of promos have been bought out like tournament packs champion packs and it's pretty odd that some of them went up in price by a lot and the ones that i didn't expect and so we'll get to it right now. So we have Android 21 Scholarly Gambit. She was sitting at like five bucks or six bucks earlier this uh, two weeks ago. And I remember I was gonna talk about it and I was just like, maybe people don't wanna talk about this card right now. But it went from being a $10 card to $25. And there's not that many listings. So they just bought these out guys. And there used to be way more listings for this champion card, but I'm wondering why it's getting a huge amount of um, hype right now. I don't know, hit up in the comment section down below if you guys know why people are buying this. And um, maybe I'm missing a really cool nifty combo people are doing, I don't know. <laughs> but as of now, it's $19 is the cheapest price when it was sitting at less than 10 bucks. I'm kidding, I'm not lying. It was eight, like seven to eight bucks when I last, last time I saw it and it tripled pretty much since then. And so we move on, I do have it on eBay as well and ebay is the same thing it, i don't know it's gonna be it looks like it's gonna be a 30 dollars card at both places both tcg player and ebay so i don't know the champion card there's not that many listings as well unless you want to buy it from um international and pay the international shipping which is pretty pricey in my opinion but like i said if you offer your best offer good luck to you guys or if you're bidding good luck as well but as of now it's sitting at like a 30 dollars card and as we move on to the next card, I wanted to talk about Android 18 Perfections Prey just because it's out of stock. There's no listings on it. And before there were. So I don't know if people are buying out the champion cards or like I said, there must be a nifty combo or maybe the new Unison support does give it a lot more power. Um, but as of now, yeah, there isn't any, any listings, so let's stay tuned. I want to keep an update on this, and I want to keep you guys updated with how much Android 18's Perfection Prey is going to be. And so it was sitting at 26. I don't know if it's going to go up. But as we move on to eBay, eBay has it for $54.99, 31 So it's a $50 card. I don't know. Do you guys think it's going to go up to 50 bucks? I don't know, hit up in the comment section, smash the like button if you think it will. <laughs> so, moving on. So it's a $50 card, and I'm just surprised. And then moving on to the next card, I, I'm guessing it's the blue, I mean green, yellow cards that are getting so much support. Obviously because Universe 11 is just insanely powerful. But we see Topo Bestower of Justice also go up in price. It doubled. It used to be a $9 card. I kid you not, it was also like $4. Nobody was buying it. And now it's 1949, and it's a buyout. People are buying out these tournament packs, and I'm noticing it's like a blue-green sensation. I mean, blue-green, green-yellow sensation right now. Uh, we see with Android 20, a Android 18, and we see it with Topo. So obviously, I think the Unison really supported it, and I might be wrong. Like I said, this is crazy though. Like, there's a buyout, 
and we move on to eBay. eBay doesn't have that many listings, but it does a little bit, but it's it, it stops there. So we only have like four listings. And just like in TCG Player, we only saw two. People are selling this for $15. It's still significantly cheaper than um, uh, TCG Player. So you're getting them for 15 bucks. So it's four bucks cheaper or offer your best offer. And you could probably get it cheaper. So good luck to you guys, like I said. And another tournament pack that I'm noticing that just skyrocketed also is Turlist Unstoppable Ghost Warrior. We've been seeing the new Storm deck. I call it the Black Storm, the Hurricane, because obviously hurricanes are dark. And so Turlist Unstoppable Ghost Warrior, he was sitting at 16 bucks, and now it doubled because this deck is insanely powerful. You turn two, you drop your opponent to three to two life. It's insane. Or in turn one, if you go second or first, whatever, you're dropping your opponent less than four lives in one turn. And it's insane. It's super powerful. And the combos you could do and the extension of attacks you do is ridiculous. And so we do have it for 32 non-foil. And then if we go on to foil, it's obviously going to be way more expensive. And it doubles, but it doesn't double, but it gives you like a $10 increase. And so it was sitting at 16, now it's 33. It doubled. So moving on to eBay, obviously there's a few more listings with that card. But if we go on to eBay, eBay there's aren't there aren't any. And you see Turles right here, buy it now for 44. It's gonna be 60. I don't know if it's gonna go up more in price. I don't know if Bandai's noticing this deck or if they do notice it. Are they gonna do something? I don't know. They could possibly be when every new set comes out they always do an update with the ban list so stay put i don't know if this might be one of those cards that might be hit stay tuned i'm gonna be making a, a prediction video of what might get hit since the new set's gonna be coming out within a month and so there you go so now we go to ssb kaioken another card from this draft box that increased in a, signi a significant amount which is pretty crazy knowing that this card was sitting at 30 dollars about a week ago and now it's $74.97. And we see it pretty much double. It was sitting at 32, then it went to 38, and then it, boom, there was a buyout, and it was now sitting at 80 bucks. And you see the listings here for 74, 74. So it's a, it's almost an $80 card for sure. And so, yeah, it, it doubled or almost tripled. And moving on to, on eBay there aren't any listings there's only one from Greece and you're gonna be paying 50 bucks so we do see that this is a very high demanded card now and not only that it's because it's deflect and it just KOs anything that's 20k or less and it could be splashed into pretty much any deck that makes it very consistent so definitely this card is worth looking at um, I'll definitely make another update on other cards so I'll obviously hit up in the comment section if there's any other cards you guys want to see or I am missing. I definitely take the feedback. I definitely want to make sure that we see all the cards that you guys are mentioning on the comment section or in the comment section. And then last but not least is Cato Plez, uh, Pesla Envoy of Justice. This was a rare. I bought this card when it was three bucks. It was three dollars, guys. And it skyrocketed to $27.45, which is pretty nutty in my opinion. And it went from being a $3 card about a week ago, about a week ago, <laughs> and now it's 30 bucks. And it's insane, knowing that um, a lot of cards are utilizing the Power Ranger. They call it the Power, Power Ranger package because they look like Power Rangers, but it went from being $3 to pretty much $30. And that's crazy in my opinion. And moving on, TCG Player had them for... 22 but i think ebay is the best bet there's only two listings you could buy oh, but it's international so you're still going to be paying like 30 bucks but offer your best offer you're buying it from international and yeah so there you guys have it so this is the market watch let me know in the comment section down below if there's any cards that i'm missing or that is worth mentioning for the next market watch i'm trying to make this as consistent as possible and like i said Hit up in the comments uh, section and smash that like button for this market watch. And there you guys have it from your host, Tony G. Like we always say, y'all stay super.